hospitals, doctors specializing in infectious diseases, pediatrics, and surgery, new drugs tested in human trials. These are familiar aspects of 21st century medical care developed centuries ago in the Islamic world. As early as the 9th century, Muslim scholars were collecting and translating the writings of physicians from ancient Greece, Syria, India, and elsewhere. They added their own observations and findings and used their skills in paper making to publish the world's first illustrated medical textbooks and encyclopedias. Reference works that would be used throughout the Islamic world and in Europe for centuries. One of the most famous was the comprehensive book of medicine written by Al-Razi Rasul, a Persian doctor and chemist in the early 10th century. Al-Razi was a master of making a diagnosis by observing a patient's symptoms. He was the first to note a difference between measles and smallpox and devise effective treatments for each, treatments very close to what doctors still use today. He was also the first doctor to see the treatment of children as a separate field of medicine, pediatrics. El-Razi's work would be translated into Latin and become the standard medical textbook in the Western world for more than 400 years after his death. Abu al-Qasim al-Zawahiri's work would become the standard surgery textbook in Europe, Liber Servitoris, which translates as useful book. It included illustrated instructions for surgery with drawings of the instruments to use. Al-Zahrawi organized the information he wrote by chapters set in order from the head to the foot to make it easier for the seeker to find what he wants. Ancient Muslim physicians developed detailed knowledge of human anatomy, including how the heart pumped blood through vessels, how a lens in the eye turned light into vision, and the basics of oral surgery. Ancient Muslim doctors urged preventative dental care and invented the first toothbrush. Beware of pieces of food left between the teeth, wrote 9th century doctor Hunayn B. Ishaq. Clean teeth painstakingly without wounding the gums. Islamic doctor Ibn Sina, later known to Europeans as Avicenna, wrote extensively in the early 11th century about preventing disease and what is known today as holistic medicine, looking at a patient's overall physical and mental health and treating illness with rest and changes in diet, not just drugs. Ibn Sina also traced the causes of many illnesses to contaminated water. Many physicians of the time knew the importance of good hygiene and cleanliness, especially in large cities. One of the great advances of the Islamic age were hospitals. Some were designed to provide general public care. Others specialized in care of the disabled or the mentally ill. These houses of the sick were organized much like modern hospitals, with separate wards for men and women, and isolation wards for those with contagious diseases like leprosy. Muhammad had stated that God created no illness for which he did not establish a cure except for old age. In seeking and finding those cures, God willing, doctors in the Islamic world gave the rest of the world the basis for much of modern medicine. <laughs>